Draggan is amazing and in this video you will learn how to use Draggan in version on Google Collab Notebook with free GPU. Draggan is a very popular technique where you can drag a GAN generated image and then make that do certain things. But Draggan was not possible with the custom image until very recently where you can do something called drag GAN inversion. So where you can upload an image, make it GAN inversion image and then use that image to do the dragging part. Thanks to this amazing Hugging Face repo that is available in Hugging Face as a space where you can go try it out yourself. But if you want to do this on Google Collab, follow the rest of the tutorial where I will tell you every single step how to do this on your Google Collab notebook. The first thing is you don't have to do anything yourself. I'm going to share this Google Collab notebook with you. It's funny me, I've not even shared the title, Drag GAN Inversion. Cool. So I'm going to tell you the step. Uh, there is a there is a critical aspect here that you need to keep in mind. The first thing is make sure that your Google Collab notebook is a GPU notebook. It should be a GPU hardware accelerator enabled notebook for this one run. And it works pretty fine on T4. So that means it works pretty fine on the free version of Google Collab. Once you have done that, the next thing is you need to clone this repository or clone this hugging face spaces. This is the same hugging face spaces that I just showed you where you have to go here copy the link and come back to your Google Collab and then clone it. Once you clone it, then you need to enter into that particular repository. So you have got this folder. You are basically entering into that folder. After you enter into the folder, now you need to do pip install dash r requirements.txt. This will help you install all the required Python libraries. So if you go here to the folder and then click requirements.txt, then you would see a bunch of libraries that are required like torch, torch vision, Gradio, Image IO, Pillow, bunch of libraries. So all these libraries will get installed once you do pip install or requirements.txt. At the end of this installation process, Google Collab will tell you that some of these libraries require you to restart the runtime. So it will tell you click here to restart the runtime. This is very important. Please make sure that you need to restart the runtime. Click here to restart the runtime. Once you click here to restart the runtime, then you have to again go here and enter into the repository. Make sure that this repo is copied or the folder is available. If the folder is not available, then do git clone again and then enter into the folder. Let me repeat it. So for you to use Draggan with inversion, first you are going to copy the folder from Hugging Face Spaces. After that, you have to enter into the folder. After that, you have to install the requirements.txt from that folder, which is basically inside your Google Collab Notebook. You can see like this. If you go to the Google Collab Notebook, you can see that. Once you install at the end of the installation process, Google Collab is going to ask you to restart the runtime. After you restart the runtime, then you have to again enter into the folder. If the folder exists, if the folder does not exist, then you have to go here clone it again, most likely the folder will exist. If it is not, clone it again, then enter into the repository. Now you don't have to run the requirements again because you have already installed all the required libraries. So after you do that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to run the Python file. But before you do that, you have to go into the drag and inversion folder, which is inside content and click this, double click this visualizer. Once you double click this, there is one change that you need to make at the end of this code, which is when you get this code, you would see something like this. For you to get the Gradio link, you need to go here and then say share is equal to true. The last line of this code, you have to go here and then say share is equal to true. That will help you get the remote Gradio link. If you are doing this on your local machine, you don't have to do it. If you're doing this on your local computer, let's say you've got a GPU, you're doing everything that I just said, you do not have to do this thing. Without this change in the code, the rest of the steps will finally work. But if you're doing this on Google Collab, go here and then say share is equal to true in the app.launch file or the line. So this is inside visualizer underscore drag underscore grady underscore inversion dot pi. After you do that, just make sure that you save the code. After you save the code, just make sure once again, you open this, double click it, open it, and then check the code if that share is equal to true is available. That means you have changed the code, did control.s or command.s to save the code. 
After that, that means the code is available for you to use. Then the next step is run Python with the bang and the, the file that you just edited visualizer underscore drag underscore gradient underscore inversion dot pi. After you do this thing, it's going to take a couple of minutes, like more than three, four minutes, and it will give you a public URL. When you click the public URL, it's going to open this interface that is going to have the drag GAN inversion, which means you can upload your own picture and that that will create the GAN version of it. And we can drag that image. And this takes a little bit of time. Everything that you do will take a little bit of time. For example, if you upload an image, it will take a little bit of time. And uh, that's where you can see here that I uploaded the picture of Elon Musk. All you have to do is upload the image that you want to be dragged and then select the points. After you upload the image, it's going to take a couple of minutes to generate the GAN AI generated version. Add a point. If you want more points, click add points and then click start. Once you click start, it's going to make the drag changes like the dragging aspect. When you want it to be stopped, click stop. Uh, sometimes the stop is not responsive. So you might have to do it a couple of times. After you click stop, you can see the dragged image being changed. And if you want, you can reset the points as well. This image and then show you the same thing. You can set a point here and then you can set another point. Once that point is set, you can set another point. Like for example, let's say like this. After you do that, then you can click start. Once you click start, it's going to start the process of dragging based from your point. The point that you set is going to guide how this drag GAN should change the image. And then as you can see, it's trying to make the image shorter based on the points that you have set. So it's, it's making changes to the person here, as you can see, and the moment you don't want this to go further, you can set stop, you can click stop and then it is going to stop. And after it has stopped, then you can go ahead and then reset the picture. Did I stop? Stop again. You can go ahead, reset the points so that you can use a different point. For example, you want to move the lips so you can say, okay, here the lips, select a point and then select another point. And then once again, you can start it. Once again, you can start it. Once you start it, it is going to go on and then make the changes. The dragging is going to make the change. And then when you want it to stop, you can stop it. Like for example, let's say you want to stop it here. You can say stop it and then stop it. So that, I mean, this image has actually gone weird, but you can, you can basically stop it and then it will stop, stop whatever you have done. I'm so sorry. This image looks weird, but this is the entire idea of drag GAN. So where you can upload an image, make that image now GAN generated by making AI or a, upload a real image, a custom image, make the AI generate the same image, set the points, make it move and then do whatever changes that you want to do based on the points that you set. I hope this video tutorial was helpful to you in learning how to run Dragon on Google Collab Notebook. If you have got any question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in another video. Happy prompting.